What's up YouTube, Eugene here, joined by my fellow perfume snob, Christo. Still snobs? More than ever, yeah. And we're still in the middle of isolation, but we've decided to unlock ourselves and and hang out and, <laughs> and do some sniffing and videos and break all the rules and laws that we possibly can. Um, got a scent of the day for you, got some first impressions, some cool things that Crystal's brought over I've never smelt before some things that he's never smelt maybe we'll get some impressions oh yeah I was thinking okay yeah I know what you mean now go on of what no because it's like I've got one thing down here but there's others over there that you'll see in a little bit we've actually got way more things than we have time for so we're gonna try yeah. and cram in as much of it as we can without without butchering it but Let's go for our scent of the days first. I just realized the lav mic is clearly like <laughs> sitting on your shoulder right there. But. It's either there or nowhere. Like, yeah, I thought it was hidden, but whatever. Who cares? We're, I know Ashton <laughs> told me when he has somebody on, he only has one mic, so he tries he to center it. it yeah. in I got that idea. I, I thought it was kind of in the back, but you must have pulled your shirt forward or whatever. But whatever. Who cares? Don't worry about it. Let's just hope it comes out. I think it will. I think it, it'll be better than, you know, where it's sitting. Crack that shit. All right. Drink of the day. Cheers. Yeah, cheers, man. Lake of Bays, off the grid, hazy pale ale. And I'm drinking a Sunny Side Session IPA. Because um, it is hot outside. It like, is. really hot. It is. It's beautiful, but it's a little bit muggy and humid, and it's going to start getting sticky soon. Yeah, absolutely. So, I kind of debated this, what I'd wear today. So, I was like, you know... I gotta say, we're both wearing really heavy scents for the weather. Yeah, we are. Um, we're not weather appropriate. I think I just wanted to wear this because I've been, I've been back to work for a couple weeks now. I've, I've worn this to work a couple times, but the, the weather has gone from, like, cool and rainy to, like just scorching hot kind of thing so i just call it harrow's because i have no idea how to say it in french i'm not going to butcher it but uh i i think this is more of a, a springtime fragrance very green fresh citrusy lots of wood in it. you yeah. can see how much i've used lots it i put it very green that. mossy spicy mm. love it totally totally love it i i don't know i still think um uh, Derby's my favorite, but I, I think that's my second. Whether, I don't know, I'd be interesting. I can't remember what order I put it in or what position I put it in when we in reviewed our those. Yeah. You know what it reminds me of is the forest floor, the scent of the floor, forest floor. Like in the forest? Just, yeah, you know, the greens that. and the grasses and everything and the mosses all kind yeah. of. Kind of like a, you know, cousin of um, French lover or something. Which I think French Lover is a little cleaner, fresher, but yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Which I love. I totally love French Lover. But yeah, that's my I think this is today. a little bit softer than French Lover. Really? Hmm. And I went with... Well, And I used to bash this. I've bashed this several times. And this is music for a while. And it's got this really crystalline pineapple note. It's not a fresh pineapple. It's like a... Like pineapple juice that's been dried up on the table and it's yeah. really sticky and it kind of combines that le leather, that lavender and, and patchouli together. It kind of brings everything together is that pineapple. Mm -hmm. It's resinous, it's sticky, it's incensey, mm -hmm. it's sharp. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, because I remember you asked like if I could smell, if I knew what you were wearing or if you could smell, I was like, I, I can't now, but I picked it up for a brief second. You're like, was it sweet? And I was like, yes, now that you mention it, it was. Was it overbearingly sweet? You know what? It was just such a short flash that I got from it. And I can't remember if it was like exactly when it was. Because we were going to go into Starbucks and it was weird. Like they'd taken the fucking handles yeah. off the door. And there was like an occult going on yeah, in there. there and they was were like sacrificing a, yeah. like coffee or very bizarre people. Yeah. I don't know what the hell. Starbucks. Naughty, naughty. All right. So what do you want to... We got a bunch of things here. We'll, we'll try a few. I don't think we can get through everything. Let's no. pick. Well, you grab one. 
because you've got more. Let's for do me this to first. Okay. Let's do this first. Okay, because I have mentioned this. You've actually we talked about this in our private chats, mm -hmm. and this is Zaharoff signature port ohm, and this is how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put a couple of pumps in the air. Go for it. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit on, cause you don't smell it. I do, but there's something that I couldn't quite pick up. Okay, so I was getting from the air. I was getting much more of a uh, interesting. I've never tried this before, and I remember messaging you a while ago asking if you had this. And you're like, I do, and I, I hadn't realized. And I think I was even at your place, like kind of snooping on the shelf when you were in the shower. <clears throat> and I <laughs> I hadn't noticed it. Um, so I was expecting it to be a little bit more classic-y, but it's definitely more contemporary, I'd say. I don't know shit all about the notes, I admit, but sweet resins yeah yeah to me it's very uh it's very balsam it's yes. got a lot of balsam resins yeah there's supposed to be some lavender like uh almost like a fougere okay which i, I find the lavender it's not very prominent as a lot of people might <clears throat> mm -hmm. but to me it's just very balsamic fresh yeah. very easy to wear classy gentlemanly yes i agree I agree. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Maybe in the dry down, the resins really come out. The woods, the resins, more balsams. Mm -hmm. A bit of pine or no fir, maybe. Yeah, Not fir quite. balsam. Yeah, yeah. There like you go. Woody fir balsams. Go. That to me is the most prominent thing is balsams. Fir balsams. There might be a trace of oud. I don't really get it. Anything yeah, foody. I haven't looked at the notes on this for such a long time, but yeah, no, it's good. I like it. Okay, what do you have? What do you want me to smell? B. So, from our friend Victor, um, I like this. It might be leaning a little bit on the sweet side for me, but I like the scent itself. Um. I don't know if I'm going to say it's the most authentic honey fragrance I've ever tried, but what is in there, I do enjoy. Well, can they, do they extract honey? I would imagine honey is a synthetic. Well, okay, that's that's a good question. I actually don't know about that, um, but... And regardless if it's natural or synthetic means nothing, to, like, I'm, I'm not... Yeah, whether what we're I'm smelling is... I'm not bothered is, either way. Yeah, like, it's an interpretation of what Yeah, as honey, long as I can see that interpretation... So I actually talked with someone. I think he's a mutual friend. I won't mention his name here, but there. I think he's a mutual friend of ours, or at least he's familiar with both of our channels, who's actually a beekeeper. Okay. And he described the smell of real honey and real beeswax. And he's like, it's very rare that it's done as authentic. So maybe it is something that has to be synthesized or replicated for fragrance. I'm not sure. But, okay, give it a go. I'm gonna put it in the air. Is that all right? Or go for it. It is sweet oh, there and it is. sticky, and almost animalic. Cause there is like a um, it's like incense and benzoin. Yeah, yeah. Smoky, I... dry, woody. Mm -hmm. Almost a touch leathery. Uranus. It's warm. It's like warm urine. <laughs> That's what I see. Almost like candle wax. Okay. Interesting. Sweet candle wax, I can kind of see, I guess. Because there's a sweetness, it's, it's there's woody. a sweetness to it. I'm just, I'm picturing benzoin for some reason. 
Okay. Some kind of sticky resin. Yeah, sure. Sweet, sticky resin. Is there an incense or a frankincense in there? Man, I don't even know. I Ambers? There's definitely you know, some ambers. Y y oh, yeah. Th there's some kind of resin, amber, whatever. You know when you get the zoologist, they have the book, and it'll be like, you know, the top notes. Like, yeah. I remember looking at it when I first got it. I can't remember when Victor sent that, but I remember it was just... It was a bit out of season for me, and then I didn't. And and it is, it is quite bold and daring. Something something that I wouldn't wear to work, um, and it's just been you know kind of neglected. It's unique. It is, it is what it is. Very and very very. It doesn't seem powdery right now, but I can imagine that this goes into powdery territory later for sure for sure. All right, next. So grab the front one. I'm gonna. This uh, one? Yeah, grab that one. Let's go other, with this because yeah? I've okay. I've talked about this on my channel so many times. Here, do you want to? Yeah, I don't know how you want to card. No, I don't want to put any more on my skin. But so this is Santal Noir from uh, Dior Privé or Maison Christian Dior. Wow, that is nice. <clears throat> Nothing at all like what I expect or have seen come out from the Dior Prive, Prive, whatever. That's nice. I like it. I really like that. Is it really sandalwoody though? I don't imagine it's authentic sandalwood. If anything, it's Australian, but it's most likely a synthetic yeah i like it i do like it so it's supposed to be ambrette rose and sandalwood to me it's very butch and to me it feels more of a Le Labo than a, a a dior exclusive in what sense that it's loud and big and bold? Re yeah obnoxiously loud but it doesn't smell like Santal 33 at it all. It doesn't smell... No, I'm not referring to Santal 33. I'm, I'm referring to... it. it Well, first of all, it's not French. It's it's Middle Eastern exclusive. Right. okay. So it's very... Oh, is this not available in North America? Oh, uh, I didn't know that. Middle East only. And it has that, that vibration to it, right? Yeah, it's got a very dark... It's very scratchy and... Yeah, it's that got kind a of, very loud presence. The um, what would you say that synthetic sandalwood that's in the the Guerlain, right? What Santal is it? Royale. Santal Royale. Yeah, I can definitely see. that. I can't say they smell the same. Do you want it's that? It's been or compared you, very often. I can see similarities, but I I wouldn't say they're the same. But yeah, it's screechy, scratchy, black, vibrous. You know. Vibrous, vibrant, not vibrant. Vibrant is different, but I know what you mean. It's it's it gives a, a sense of hysteria or something. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. To me, it's it's too much. Like, so where did you get this? Did someone? I send bought it, it to off you? Uh, second hand. Oh. Oh, you know, it was real. Okay. I was looking for it. It was really hard to find, and I I found like a bottle that was ninety five percent full or. Oh, okay. Or so. so you didn't. Oh, I see. I you know what it's interesting it's definitely interesting I'd say it's better than a lot of the Dior's I've tried lately right the very light fruity yeah just ethereal compositions that aren't really exclusive you know yeah. if I could get Santal Royale discounted I would take it over this to be honest like that's that's my I point. would as well all right let's do one more I'll let you pick. You know what? I want to try the one in the front. This one? Yeah, just because I think I would like to do, since there's so much new coming out in the Dior Preve line, I would actually like to sit down and do a video with you about it. So let's try this. So I've actually done this myself a couple of videos a... back. So, um, Yeah, because you handed me this and you're like, have you tried this or you just showed it? And I was like, I haven't. And I took off the cap and I was like, wow, that smells really good. I haven't good. had a chance to even wear it yet. But that's a uh, Francis Kurdian for Ellie Saab, the uh, exclusive line. And I said, Francis Kurdian does his best work outside of his own brand. Mm -hmm. 
simple like I can't say I pick up more than two or three notes very smoky bit of spice can you see the sandalwood to me it's very creamy and warm and buttery really Hmm. I think I think that. Hmm. 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 I don't know. Creamy and warm and buttery. Warm. Yeah. Yeah. I see warm. It's very. Again, almost, almost green woods. <sighs> yeah, it's some, something I can see some being kind of incense, comforting, and you know, almost rootiness to it. A green rootiness. I like it. I like it a lot. In fact, I'd like to try to track down some of that. Um, I feel like almost there's uh, a fruity coconut. Like there's some kind of fruitiness to this to go along with that sandalwood. It could be like, you know, a combination of, you know, something mildly sweet and then something kind of... Fruity? Yeah, but like I burnt... I definitely get something fruity to it. Like a very small hint of fruit. It's not sweet. This is more woody. Yeah, burnt. So there's something burnt. And not just incense, but like burnt. So yeah, like burnt it's almost... rubber. Yeah. I think I, I know what you mean. Or almost... Actually, I did wear it one night, but very like almost right before bed. So I didn't really get to spend a whole lot of time with it. And I thought I was getting almost like this burnt rubbery leather accord. Yeah, yeah. No, I, almost I can something see that. synthetic, to be honest. I can see. I think you've kind of put the coconut thing in my mind now, but see, like, I think the card is a disservice. Like mm -hmm. on paper, I don't like spraying shit on paper. It smells more synthetic on the paper than it does in the air. That's the air. You've only got to smell it for like ten seconds, though. I don't. It know. lingers, though. See, I. I Man, it's almost got like a ginger ale vibe now to it. Really? Yeah. You know, it just almost reminds me of like, you know, like a really good like ginger beer, ginger ale kind of thing. I have, n I literally don't even know what the notes are like. I couldn't list the notes to save my life. All right, we've got a bunch of other things, but let's let's save it for another video. Save it for another video. We've yeah. got we've got things to do, people to see, and places to go, and and a live stream to catch. So this will probably be up first, right? What's gonna what can they expect to see next? We're gonna do our we're gonna do a lardisan. Like we have a bunch of lardisans. We don't nearly have nothing compared to the whole right. But series. We'll, we'll 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 talk about what we do have. And we'll, so we'll show those. a Lardis online overview, which obviously we're going to update and, you know, have uh, more entries in further down the line. All right. So we'll see you in a bit.